Hey, what's up everybody? So if you haven't seen it, my introductory to the new Illustrator CC 2018, you might want to check it out. Otherwise, we're just going to jump right in right now and talk about a new feature that they introduced, which is the Puppet Warp Tool. Now, if you're familiar with Photoshop, I'm sure you probably have used this before, and it's pretty much the exact same technique. And I believe actually After Effects has this as well, as a way that a lot of people are doing animations and whatnot in After Effects. So this is pretty exciting that it came to Illustrator because you have a lot of control to your existing models now. So I downloaded these beautiful characters off of freepick.com, which is a free vector sourcing website. I, they don't sponsor me or anything like that, but I use it quite a bit and I, I love it for quick things like this. And I threw these in here and I'm feeling all cuddly and warm right now and I just want to make them all cutesy and animate them. Yay! So let's go ahead and get started. Now, if you don't have Illustrator CC 2018, you're going to want to upgrade to that. And if you don't have the ability to upgrade, I'm sorry, you're going to have to skip out on this tutorial. Anyhow, so on the right hand side here, you'll see this little pin. And these pins are going to be the anchor points. And you create anchor points in joints such as elbows, shoulders, knees, and all that. And that is the movement that you're using to control it. So you're going to grab that and you're going to move around the object. So to do that, we're just going to select this cute little pig unicorn thingy looking, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to click this puppet warp tool. Select that. And we're just going to check on his feet, his knees, on all four of them. Like that. And then we're just putting these on items that you want to move. And then at their pivoting point. So I want to move this tail, so I'll put one here, but I want it to pivot around the butt area. So I'm going to put one right there. Same thing with the neck, I want it to move around by the nose. And you can do one with the horn as well if you wanted to. So let's say you put one down that you don't like, right in the center, and you want to remove it. So you just click it and click delete and it disappears. And now, here's where the magic happens. We have our points down in the crucial anchor points. If we just hover over one, we can move it. Look at that, that's awesome. So let's say you draw this and you want to move its arm a little bit into a different running position. You go ahead and do that. And then over here on the right hand side, we can go select all pins. Let's say if you want to move out, move around the whole mesh, you can do that. Or you can just move it as you would before. And you can just click on that puppet warp tool. You can go back and do some more modifications and moving it and all that. So let's give him a big booty and pull his tail out like this because he's so cool and then pick up his head because he's a little stuck up he knows how cute he is all right pretty easy simple to use let's do it again with this fairy let's uh, make her just a little bit bigger and she's gonna just wave at this unicorn so select her mesh let's give her some anchor points let's put one on her hand on her wand her shoulder and then let's do it on this shoulder this hand leg, foot, foot, leg. And then we can put one on in the center of her head if we want to move her. So we'll put it like this, and then we can move her hands. Um, we want to move the wand with it, so we'll select this one, and hold on shift and select this one, and you can move the whole thing. Oh, look how cool that is. <laughs> Just boop and snoots, that's what they do. So we can move that up, move this around. And that's all that there is to it. Look how smooth and clean that it makes these, makes it warp. So as you can see, we should get a little bow legged. If we add an extra pin right here, we can move it and bring that in. Cool, awesome. And bam, that's the warp tool. Hope you like it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments below. If you found any cool things in Illustrator since this update, leave it down there below. I'm still learning, trying to find out everything that's new with this. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.